Hey everybody, it's your boy LaBea Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, please go down below, like and subscribe to the channel. While you're down there, hit that notification bell so that you'll get every notification uh, when I drop videos to YouTube. Today, guys, I got something special for you. Um, I'm hearkening back to um, a couple months ago when we all did um, Scent Explore 2020 in a virtual form, and in that goodie bag was a fragrance that I was looking very, very forward to sampling. So today I'm going to be reviewing for you Amouage Meander. So Meander came out in 2020. It's from the Renaissance Collection. It's the new Renaissance Collection. It's uh, classified as a woody aromatic in composition. Uh, the nose is Mackenzie Riley. And the top notes are olibanum, carrot seeds, pink pepper, and black pepper. Mid notes are orris, cypriol oil, rose narcissus, and the base is sandalwood, olibanum, and vetiver. Um, so a note from the brand is that this explores the exhilarating feeling of happiness in the land of fog, lush green mountains, and running streams. And, you know, having been locked up in the house and, and not going to many places, I really want to get to this land because it sounds like paradise to me and I really want to go there. But for now, I'm just going to review the fragrance. Um, and the inspiration for this fragrance um, is the Plateau of Dofar in uh, Oman in the Middle East. So I have a sample right here. Like I said, this sample came in my Scent Explore goodie bag. Um, it is my scent of the day, but I will give you a fresh spray right now. Oh, this is, this is really good, guys. All right, what you're going to get off the top, it's very green. That's how I would uh, describe this fragrance. Very green, and it's very, very creamy on account of the uh, on account of the sandalwood, and it's also very earthy uh, because it has a beautiful vetiver that makes its presence known throughout the life cycle of the fragrance. I absolutely, I absolutely love vetiver as a note. Um, if I can get my words out, I love vetiver as a note. So this is making me take me to my happy place right now. Um, it's not a heavy fragrance at all. It's not a heavy fragrance. I think it is uh, appropriate for any time of year, as I'll explain later. Um, but it's not a heavy fragrance. It's not dark. It's not foreboding. It's, it's not something that you would find um, unusual or unwearable. I know that there are uh, fragrances in Amouage's portfolio, like Lyric Man and Interlude Man, and a couple of other fragrances that people may find challenging. You're not going to find Meander challenging whatsoever. I think it's actually one of the most pleasant uh, fragrances that I've encountered from the company. Um, not to say that their other fragrances aren't pleasant because I do like Reflection Man. However, um, since Reflection Man, I really haven't uh, gotten along with uh, fragrances from Mamouage, and so I'm very, very happy to encounter Meander right now. Um, you're going to get noticed with this fragrance. Guys, this fragrance, this isn't like anything I've ever smelled before. It's not like anything you've ever smelled before, I'm sure. Um, this is a new release. Like I said, it came out in 2020. Uh, I think this is groundbreaking in the sense that it's it's pleasant, it's vegetal, it's earthy, it's it's just just wonderful to wear. I mean, it gives me this sense of peace and sense of serenity and sense of calm that I just absolutely love wearing it. Um, so you're going to get noticed. Um, I believe that the carrot seed um, adds a bit of a sweetness, a slight sweetness. Not It doesn't drift off into gourmand territory at all. This is not a gourmand fragrance. But the carrot seed does add, add a bit of a sweetness to the fragrance that um, really kind of endears at least me to the fragrance. Um, it, it pulls me in. It, it's comforting. Um, I love sweet things. I love anything sweet, basically. Chocolate, cookies, you know, any ice cream, whatever. So the, the slight sweetness in the fragrance actually is quite endearing uh, to me for the fragrance. So I absolutely love that. And I also do get um, some slight floral nuances uh, in the fragrance, and I believe that's on the count of the uh, of the rose. 
um, you, you definitely get a sense of the rose, but it's not a rose forward fragrance. It doesn't become overly floral, which is good for me if you guys have watched my previous content. Um, it never drifts off into full floral territory, but I do get a sense of the rose in there. And it's just enough that leaves me wanting a little bit more and a little bit intrigued. So that's a good thing. Um, like I said, in the dry down, I've, I've worn this on skin before. Um, it is going to become more of a vetiver based fragrance. I absolutely love that. Um, I, I, this is a standout fragrance and I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for Amouage to draw me in more since Reflection Man came out. Um, and they have absolutely done that with Meander. I do plan on getting a full bottle at some point, not right now. Um, because the retail price for Meander is $340, I believe. Um, that's a steep haul. It's, it's 100 mil, it's EDP concentration. Um, it, it does last for a good 8 to 10 hours on skin, and, and it pushes uh, pretty well for the first two, two and a half hours. So I do believe the performance is, is good. It's, it's there, and I believe the price point for Amouage is isn't terrible now i know it's 340 dollars. i know it's a heavy lift but i believe for what you're getting i believe it's worth it uh, so you will get a bang for your buck i do believe this is a must try um, if you if you are intrigued by the amouage as a brand if you like earthy vetiver type fragrances if you're curious as to um, whether amouage is making uh, headway into more fragrances that are a little bit more versatile than some of their previous offerings, I absolutely think that this is a must try because I do think the versatility is there. This is a four season fragrance for me. Um, you can wear it in the spring, summer, winter, fall. I do believe it may be a little bit more appropriate for the fall and the winter. However, I would not hesitate to pull for this in the spring and the summer. I think you'll be just fine. I don't think it's too strong in any of the um, any of the notes that would lend it to being too heavy or too light in any season. So I believe you can wear this year round. If you pull for it, you won't have a problem at all. So I do believe this is a must try. I also believe this is a signature scent. You're going to stand out with this fragrance. Guys, let me tell you, you're going to stand out. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. If you want to smell like every other person in, in, in the, your location, that's fine. There are fragrances that do that and they smell good. However, if you want to stand out from the crowd, I believe Amouage Meander is definitely the way to go. It's um, it's unisex. I won't forget to say that it is unisex. I believe a man or a woman can pull this off. Um, and I, it's signature scent worthy. I am looking for a bottle of Meander. Trust me. Um, guys, I think Meander is is well worth your attention. I highly encourage you to get a sample. It's a must try in my opinion. You know, all opinions are my own. I, I highly, highly, highly suggest getting your nose on a sample of this. That's my time. I want to thank you guys. I truly do appreciate you spending your time with me. Go down below, like, and subscribe to the channel. You guys know your support means everything to me, and I'll catch you next time.